more high tech than kangaroos? Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and I'm trying a little experiment. Instead of making one long video, I'm taking the content that I wanted to produce and splitting it into three smaller videos. Get into bite-sized pieces. Which will be recorded and published nearly simultaneously, probably 15 minutes between each one. See the video description for links to each video in the series. This is the first video in the series of three, and we'll discuss how to connect your Log4OM to your rig using the Omni Rig application. As always, any questions, concerns, observations, and general remarks can be left below in the comments. Questions? Comments? The first thing we want to do is download your Omni Rig. You need to make sure that you're downloading version 1, not version 2. Log4OM does not support version 2, no matter what they say. So you come to this website, which will be down in the video description, scroll down to where it says Downloads page, then scroll down to find your Omni Rig, which is right here. And you click on this link and it begins downloading. It's going to download a zip file and I'm just going to open up the folder that it's in and you can see that I've actually downloaded that several times and you get a zip file. So we'll go to this one. It's the same as the other ones. Now you get into your setup. We're going to run that and you'll probably get this. This means it's not a signed copy of the software, but that's fine. Click on more info and run anyways and install. It is now installed and let me show you. Come here, all apps, there's OmniRig right there. It is running in the background, you don't need to do anything else. Now we're going to open up our log for OM2 and we're going to go to settings, program configuration, down here under hardware configuration you're going to click on cat interface. For your settings under your cat engine you want to go OmniRig and you can select cat auto start. Under the Omni Rig tab, you should select that the Omni Rig will disconnect your cat at the first off event. Good with all that, so we're going to save and apply. I'm going to come up here to connect, and you can see it's already connected. If you're not, you're going to have to go into the cat interface, which is Omni Rig. You can see that I put in my interfacing instructions for my FT991A. Mine is COM5, yours will probably be different. That's your enhanced port. My baud rate is 9600, select whichever one you want. Now down here under pull interval in milliseconds, it defaults up to about 500, which would mean that you would be updating your frequency every half a second. I've lowered it to 100, which means it's going to update 10 times per second. And just a quick spin, on my dial you can see I am changing my frequency up here so that's all good we can click OK to close that and now our log for OM is connected to our cat and to our radio this will come in very useful in one of the follow-up videos if you ever want to disconnect it you can come up here select connect go to cat and click on stop cat cats, cats and more cats the purpose of this video was to give you a 10,000 foot look at integrating cat controls into your log for om There's quite a bit about cat controls that I either didn't mention at all or just gave you a brief peek. Now, I think I've met the minimum requirement, though, to get a start with it and will leave you to play and explore the software in your own time. Now, if I get enough folks asking for it, I'll be happy to do a deep dive video for it. Please remember to like. I like you. Do you like me? And share. Everyone? I get to tell everyone. This with your friends. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. Thanks for viewing. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out for now. But you keep coming back for more and more.